Sankofa and Bayesian Statistics, part of the African Creation Energy Mathology Mathematics series. What if I were to tell you that one of the most important mathematic equations used in science and computer algorithms was developed to prove the existence of God and also has associations to the African concept of Sankofa and the ancient Egyptian concept of the Bennu bird? That mathematic equation is called Bayes' theorem. It is named after the Reverend Thomas Bayes, a Presbyterian minister and statistician who lived during the 1700s who only published two works in his lifetime, one theological and one mathematical. However, the theorem which he would become famous for would be published after he died by his friend named Richard Price, another minister and mathematician on his behalf. The motivation to publish Bayes' theorem is suspected to be to prove the existence of God. In 1748, philosopher David Hume published an essay where he argues that when someone claims to have seen a miracle, this is poor evidence that it actually happened, since it goes against what we see every day. It was generally understood that Hume's essay was an argument against Christianity. Thomas Bayes would die in 1761, and Richard Price would discover Bayes' theorem and publish it in an essay toward solving a problem in the doctrine of chances in 1763. As a Christian and believer in miracles, Price took exception to the essay published by David Hume and saw Bayes' theorem as a way to prove David Hume wrong. In an essay published in 1767, Price showed that even if a person observes the tide has come in a million times, they cannot reasonably say on statistical grounds that it will never stop coming in. Using Bayes' theorem, based on those million observations, Price calculated that there is a probable chance of the tide not coming in one day. Therefore, Price argued, it is not possible to eliminate the chance of a miracle based on a large number of negative observations. Although it hasn't proved the existence of God, Bayes' theorem has proved useful in other ways. The formula is now used for testing new medicines, weather forecasting, improving mobile phone reception, and artificial intelligence. Bayesian models run the algorithms of online recommendation engines by predicting what you may like based on what you have previously consumed. So just what is Bayes' theorem? Well, Bayes' theorem is a mathematic equation used in statistics which describes the probability relationship between your prior beliefs and new evidence you experience. It allows you to calculate the probability of the unknown given the known. Bayes' theorem can work forwards and backwards. It allows you to calculate predictions on something that has yet to happen, or you can calculate the probability that something happened in the past based on the present evidence. Bayes' theorem consists of four parts. The prior, P of B, the probability your past belief is true. A prior distribution can be determined from the past, such as previous experiences, or it can be a purely subjective assessment such as belief. The likelihood, the probability of evidence given belief, is the probability of experiencing the evidence given your belief is true. Also called the Bayes factor, the likelihood is the amount of information we learn about our belief from the data. The marginal, P of E, is the probability of experiencing the evidence. And all of this is used to calculate the posterior, the probability your belief is true given the experienced evidence. In the Akan culture in West Africa, Sankofa is a word and an Adinkra symbol which represents how the past can shape our present. Since our past experiences are what shape our present beliefs and our predictions about the world, the symbol of Sankofa can be used to represent the prior distribution in Bayes' theorem. After encountering new information, new knowledge, new data, and new experiences, our past beliefs may be altered and die and are reborn as our newly informed beliefs are going forward. As our beliefs are constantly updated as we experience new information, yesterday's posterior becomes today's prior, and today's posterior becomes tomorrow's prior. Because of the birth, death, and resurrection process observed and the constant updating of your beliefs based on experiencing new evidence when using Bayes' theorem, the posterior distribution can be represented by the symbol of the Bennu bird, an ancient Egyptian symbol associated with the phoenix and the process of birth, death, and rebirth. In ancient Egyptian mythology, it is said that the Bennu bird flew over the chaotic waters of Noon, a metaphorical sea of probability, and landed on a rock an area of certainty amidst the sea of uncertainty. Bayes' theorem can also be depicted using a Venn diagram and the equation can be rewritten as the purple section, the intersection of the red and blue circles, that is the intersection of your beliefs with the evidence, divided by the blue circle, the probability of the evidence. Bayes' theorem facilitates a mathematical way to update your beliefs based on new information. One simple example of Bayes' theorem is calculating the probability of the rising sun. If you have past experience that the sun rose yesterday and today, then you may believe the sun will rise tomorrow based on that past experience. And Bayes' theorem facilitates a means to calculate the probability that the sun will rise tomorrow. 
The process that occurs in Bayesian hypothesis testing is a routine process that we do every day by incorporating new information into our worldview. With every step we take while we are walking, we are unconsciously predicting the probability that the next step will be successful given the belief that we've created from our previous successful steps. Bayes' theorem also explains mathematically how two people can see the same information and reach different conclusions because it is influenced by their prior past experiences. Sankofa.